Hi, this video is going to be about getting the best quality we can out of a Zoom uh, video conference um, for things other than just voice. So I've got my guitar with me um, and uh, we're going to see if we can get that to sound good. I'm currently connected to the meeting by my iPhone, um, so let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> So yeah, you can hear there quite a lot of processing going on, trying to avoid feedback and um, doing lots of other things to try and make voices stand out from background noise, but unfortunately the guitar thinks it's background noise, so it tries to filter that out. Um, so let's uh, disconnect from the iPhone. Uh, the iPhone unfortunately doesn't really have any options to turn that processing off, but I'm going to connect to my laptop and um, that should sound a bit better. Okay, so now we're connected to my laptop uh, using the, uh, this is the Mac uh, client, but um, it's pretty much the same on PC laptops as well. Um, now by default, all of our processing is still on. So if I uh, just play now, it's going to sound very similar to that, uh, to that iPhone. So, yeah. uh, let's see what we can do about that. Um, in this little menu down here in the bottom left next to the mute microphone, um, there's a thing called audio settings, so let's open that up. So right now we are um, completely um, uh, as default. Um, so there's a couple of settings we might want to try and change. The first is automatically adjust microphone volume. So that just tries to keep um, things audible, but uh, if you're playing music that tends to be kind of full of loud bits and quiet bits and you don't want them flattened out. So uh, let's do that turn up the um, volume a little so that we uh, can still be heard and then in this advanced section down here there's an option that says show in meeting option to enable original sound from microphone so we click that and then up here you may have noticed this little button appears you can turn it off and turn it on again we get this button up here that says turn on original sound so we will do that and what that does is it disables most of that uh, processing um, so that uh, the sound that comes into the microphone is pretty much what's transmitted over the internet. So let's see how that sounds. sounds quite a lot better, a lot better. Um, and that's obviously very usable if you're doing a performance in a Zoom meeting or something like that, then uh, that's that's pretty acceptable. You have to be kind of careful that the uh, that the levels are set correctly. Um, but yeah, that's pretty good. Um, one thing I have, I also have a, an external audio interface, uh, like a digital mixer that I've got, but any USB interface could work. When you have one of those, it kind of appears here. So I'm going to switch to using that. And that interface is connected to these uh, microphone. Microphone here, I've got another one down here. Uh, can you see it? There it is. Uh, that's kind of pointing at my guitar more. Um, and then I also have the guitar plugged into my mixer through a pickup. Um, and we've got a little bit of reverb going on. So that uh, sounds probably a little bit better than the microphones as well, or the built-in microphones. Okay, thanks very much.